What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Andrew Jensen, it's a pleasure to have you. I'm starting my road to Glen Abbey. I'm out here at Blue Springs playing a practice round because next week I have the Canadian Open Regional Qualifier here at Blue Springs, which is the first stage of qualifying for the Canadian Open. The winner of the Regional gets in the Canadian Open and then the top 15% of the field get through in the Monday Qualifier. I play Blue Springs a handful of times, I'm familiar with the course, but I've got a day off today, so I've come out with my best friend Stu, my old boss, Stu, and we're gonna play. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of Blue Springs. Let's go. guys, this is Stu, the infamous Stuart Bannatyne, my old boss from TaylorMade, my old roommate in Oakville, my best friend. He doesn't work for TaylorMade anymore, as you can see. I crashed at his place, thanks to him and his wonderful girlfriend, Jacqueline, letting this nomad basically freeload with them. <laughs> Helps my career out a little bit, but we're out playing today. So you're gonna see us whack a few around, and then if you haven't already watched our par three course match, I'm gonna link it right now and uh, go watch it. This is one of the holes at Blue Springs you gotta be a little bit careful on or be mindful of or have played already. And second hole, par three, about 225 yards, but it's severely downhill. So a little bit of local knowledge, knowing what club to hit is really helpful. When the wind gets up, it, it takes a good shot. Three is always a great score out here. Here's another hole that you need to pay attention to. The third hole, it's 330 yards, but you can see 90 degree dog leg. This tree, 234 off the tee. So the play is something right around here. Just leave yourself a little sandwich, a log wedge in. Take your medicine here, be smart, try to make your birdie. Probably one of the weirder holes out here. Seventh hole, it's 420 yards, but you can see completely blind. The green goes down and then kind of up, it's over here. Kind of just need to hit like an iron off this tee to keep it up top because you don't want to hit into the down slope. There's rough, basically the fairway ends at 150 yards and then it's rough and a bit of hazard. It's just a strange one. So you want to take something kind of right over here. This is a hole where you just need to commit, get something out there and play, make a four and get the heck out of here. Here's the eighth hole, it's a tricky hole. It's just a hard hole, it's 415 yards, but this water goes all along, all on the right side. The green's got some slope on it, but if you kind of take too much club and bail out left, you're going through into the trees. So it's 295 straight through at that tree, right in line with the 150. You wanna hit a three wood out there and just commit to it and get it in play and keep it in that fairway because left is no good, right is no good, and you just wanna have a shot at the screen and then take your two putts and Onto the next hole. Yet another interesting tee shot here. Just downhill blind shot on the 10th hole. 425 yard hole. You just need to commit to something, get it out there. Maybe hit like a two iron, three iron, or three wood, depending on the wind. Just wanna keep it kind of right on this line here and uh, commit. All right guys, I think this is the last hole of note here at Blue Springs. 17, 170 yard par three, but like a few other holes out here, there's quite a bit of elevation change. And when the wind is swirling, you really gotta commit and uh, trust the club you're, you're going with. The green's pitched towards us like this, so everything does land and spin a little bit back. So you wanna be below the hole. Commit to your club here, and if you can make it two, awesome. If not, make a par. Get on to 18 and uh, finish strong. On the 
18th tee here, guys. The match has been epic. Just beat him. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this little tour of Blue Springs practice round. It's just a great golf course. It's going to be fun in a week and a bit from now to try and get into the Canadian Open. If not, just through into the Monday qualifier. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'm going to see you in a couple days. Peace.